On the 8th of October in 2012, the London Paramount Entertainment Resort was announced to the public. As you can tell by the name, it originally involved Paramount Pictures and was proposed to be a Disney scale theme park that would dwarf all of our UK theme parks. The announcement in 2012 gave us an insight into what the resort could have including Europe's largest water park, along with theatres, restaurants, and hotels. And the site for this proposed theme park was the Swanscombe Peninsula, where I'm at today. And as you can see, not much has happened. The original themed lands that were proposed for the theme park when it was announced were the High Street, the Studio, the Jungle, the Kingdom, the Isles, and finally Starport. So, some very familiar themes there from other theme parks, but still unique to the United Kingdom. The proposed cost to build the theme park was three and a half billion pounds, and it was proposed to open in 2019. But as you can tell, that did not happen. But why hasn't it happened? Well, the first delay came in the form of Natural England designated the Swanscombe Peninsula as a site of special scientific interest. The charity Bug Life described the peninsula as a brownfield of the highest quality for wildlife as well as a valued community space for walking, bird watching, angling and escaping the hustle and bustle of North Kent. And I'm going to be honest, after being here in person, I really don't think anyone's coming here bird watching or escaping to the country, so to speak. This isn't exactly a pleasant place to be. It smells horrible. There's like some sort of sewage plant over there. And generally, you know, we parked up next to cars that had their doors pried open. So I don't think anyone's coming here to do bird watching. Let's just say that. In response to Natural England designating this site as a site of scientific interest, the plans were slightly altered to only cover areas of the peninsula rather than the whole peninsula in order to protect some of the natural wildlife. In 2017 Paramount Pictures pulled out from the project which led to the project being called by the name that we know it as today the London Resort. The pandemic added a further hurdle to the project delaying it even more because visitor attractions weren't at the top of people's to-do list for a couple of years. These, as well as other concerns from local residents such as traffic issues, have delayed the project for over a decade now. Just as a side note, these pylons that are here on the Swanscombe Peninsula are 623 feet tall. For reference, you could fit three stealths in the height of that one tower alone. As it stands today, the project is currently set to be a scaled back project and just an entertainment complex. So I assume that means things like just cinemas and restaurants rather than an actual fully built theme park with a current scheduled opening of 2025. But honestly, I really don't see anything coming here anytime soon. The company's website doesn't even exist anymore. If you try to go to the website, it's completely offline. But are there still any benefits from this project even getting announced? Well, some suggest that there could be because Merlin have recently invested into a ton of new attractions for their theme parks. We're getting the UK's tallest roller coaster coming to Fort Park. We've got a ton of new attractions coming to Alter Towers in the form of Cursor or Manor and Project Horizon. Legoland are getting a new dueling roller coaster, so technically two roller coasters, and Chessington are opening Mandrill Mayhem and two other rides this year. So Merlin's clearly gone on a bit of a spending spree, and some people have thought that this could be down to the London Resort being a threat to these UK theme parks. But at the end of the day, that's just a theory. No one really knows for sure if that was the driving motivation behind all of that investing. It is definitely a shame that the project never got off the ground because it would have turned the world's eyes to right here, the Swanscombe Peninsula, which was the proposed site of the London Resort. <laughs> Even though the project hasn't got off the ground as of yet, theme park enthusiasts have showed up to film the ground. There's a padlock on the floor. I wonder if we open this, we could transport to another reality. 